News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Taking a live look from Sky 4 at the West Connect area on Jacksonville's west side, the scene of a SWAT situation. It's over now, but it started about 9 this morning, three hours ago. Police who live in the neighborhood tell News for Jacks they heard gunshots ringing out, and it ended with JSO taking at least one person into custody. News for Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live. Marilyn. We're told that suspect was taken to the hospital with serious inju uh, injuries. JSO has pushed us back to Joy Drive. I'll step outside the shot so you can see. If you take a look at that police car right down there, that's on Pernicia Street, and that's where most of the action is happening. Go ahead and take a look from Sky 4. You can see about 15 to 20 different units, and that's where the bulk of the investigation is taking place. We've been watching officers walking back and forth from there all morning, and you can see the police unit units in what they call is normally a quiet neighborhood. That's according to neighbors. And we saw one of the police canines leaving the scene around 11 o'clock this morning. And we also saw more detectives pull up to the scene. And within the last five minutes, we actually saw two crime scene unit vans just enter into the crime scene tape here. And we actually have a few detectives that are just walking into the scene right now as we speak. And you can see those two detectives right now. We're trying to figure out exactly when we're going to hear from JSO and Grant gather some more information. Multiple sources have told News for Jax that a suspect was subdued by a canine and even tasered. So we're working to learn more details and JSO let us know that they will be giving us a briefing. We're just not sure exactly what time that will be yet. So once we get more information, we'll update you both on air and online at newsforjax.com. We're going to have more details coming up from a neighbor who says this is a normally quiet neighborhood. Very strange things to hear and to see all of this happening. That's going to come up tonight at five and six reporting live on the West Side, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.